We are in the final stretch of the legislative session this week. It comes to an end on Friday. ABC 4's Kay Gardner gives us a look at some of the biggest bills we're watching for you right now and what they mean for you. It's going to be a very busy week here on the Hill. Lawmakers still have hundreds of bills that they have to make decisions on, with three of the largest topics being Major League Sports, homelessness, and restricting social media for kids. House Bill 562, sponsored by Representative Ryan Wilcox, would allow for $900 million to develop the Fair Park area in Salt Lake City and bring a Major League Baseball team to Utah. Similarly, Senate Bill 272, sponsored by Senator Daniel McKay, would allow for $1 billion to create an entertainment district and bring in a National Hockey League team. The bills are likely to pass, but not everyone is a fan. I don't think that's the proper role of government, especially when I think about uh, taking taxpayer dollars to help fund this. If it was no risk, if there was no risk involved in this, I don't think they'd be asking for us to, to join with them. We want to make sure that the funding we're using is going to keep our, our streets and communities safe. A handful of bills address homelessness, which would increase the temperature for Code Blue to take effect, make shelters prioritize the people they take in, and create a stronger pipeline between the state hospital and recovery centers. One issue we found is that um, too many individuals being discharged in the state, state hospital are being discharged into homelessness. Unsheltered Utah says some of the new requirements may actually lead to shelters losing funding. As homeless service providers, we just are out of resources. We're all tapped out. And that doesn't mean we're going to say no. We will always find a way to do something. But when we run out of money, that's it. Then we can't help anybody. Two bills seek to limit access to social media for kids. They would limit certain features that make social media apps addictive. It's not restricting a minor's ability to be on the platform. But what we're saying is the experience that you have on the platform has to be different than an experience an adult has. And companies will not be able to collect data on minors' accounts without explicit parental consent. I've got four kids, I've got several of them that are on social media, and the thought of these big social media companies taking my kids' data without me knowing is really offensive. We'll continue to follow all of these bills throughout the week and keep you updated both on air and online at abc4.com. Reporting from Capitol Hill, Kate Garner, back to you.